Hello everyone, this is Longrider and I am uh, going to show you how to use the It's For You software Mists of Pandaria Talent Grid Maker that I spent basically my uh, basically my New Year's and Christmas vacation building. Um, this is the opening page. Pretty much you just click one of these links and it takes you right into the tool. Um, I'm going to start with the browsing. You could just jump in and create your own, but I'm going to show you how to create one based off of what's already out there. So you click that link and there's all these different things which you can do up here. You can query by class. If you only want to see the hunter ones, at this point there's just my default hunter one out there, but if all you want to see is hunter ones then you can click that. Or if you only want to see death knight ones, just select that and it does that query. Um, if you want to query by a particular author, I'm the only one out there at the moment, but um, if you want to do that, you can query that way. There's there's also another quicker way to do that. If you see a class that you like on the side here, you can click that class and then that performs the search. You can also click on an, on an author's name and it'll show you all the talent grids that that author has made. And um, there's multiple pages. This actually lets you scroll back forward as many times as you like. Um, there isn't anything out there, but um, it lets you scroll that way anyways. Um, and if you want to just query the most recent ones and forget about the class, forget about the author, just click this button here, Browse Most Recent. And at any time, just about, you can create a new talent grid. Um, I'm just going to choose the Paladin talent grid here. You click on that, you notice how it turns orange and you've got this um, amber, orangey screen here. Um, I tried to co color coordinate everything. Purple is for um, editing the talent grids, green is for browsing them, amber is for viewing them. And as you can see, you click on one of these, it grays the other ones out and highlights the one you clicked. I tried to make this um, look at least recognizably like the existing talent grid system that they have. Um, one thing which you also may notice is there are these little fountain pens on the right hand side. You click those and you get this small comment. I only put comments on the Paladin talent grid for the most part. Um, these are just things which I thought about it. Um, anyways, this uh, you're, you're allowed to set these comments yourself in the edit screen. And um, if you see a talent grid that you like, either made by somebody else or if it's one of the defaults, then you can click copy or edit this talent grid. If you made this grid yourself, then it's going to take you to, well, I'm not logged in at the moment, um, but if you made this grid yourself, then clicking this button will allow you to um, w will allow you to edit the talent grid and save the changes. If you didn't make it yourself, then this will copy the information into the edit screen here, and you can edit it yourself and create a new talent grid based off of the original one. Another thing about the uh, Mists of Pandaria talent grid that I probably should have mentioned earlier was if you're in the edit screen, then you scroll down to the bottom, you'll find these handy little um, load default talent grid icons. You click one of those and it says, do you really want to clear out the talent grid, grid data and replace it with the default? Click OK and it will load the default talent grids information. This in particular is the priest one. Um, I've by this time I've loaded up all the defaults. Uh, here's the warrior one. It shows all the stuff: Stormbolt, Avatar, Shockwave, Blade Storm. I'm a little bit surprised that they put these at the bottom, but um, well, in any case, um, the default stuff is here. I plan to uh, I plan to be updating this stuff regularly, so uh, so that it won't get out of date. Uh, so once you're in the edit screen, you can use these defaults to get the default information quickly. It's particularly useful if you um, want to make a few small changes yourself. Once you've logged in, you'll see at least these three, Browse, Preview, and Save This as a New Talent Grid. If you created this tree yourself, then you'll also see Save Change to this Talent Grid and Delete this Talent Grid. And yes, you can delete grids after you've made them. Um, this allows you to save the changes. It doesn't create a new grid ID. Um, if you click Save This as a new talent grid, then your old talent grid will still be there. 
Um, anyways, as this says, click on a talent to select an icon and set a name and description. Um, let's say that I don't like Burden of Guilt. Let's say that um, I think the judgment's overpowered if Long Arm of the Law and Burden of Guilt both activate it. So let's say your successful exorcism hits reduce the target's chance, reduce, I'm sorry, not chance, movement speed by 50% for 12 seconds. You can apply that. Um, let's say that I want to change this. Paladins could really use a snare. I'd never be able to. Let's see. I like exorcism. Maybe. Click apply. If you click cancel, then it'll blow away the change that I made and I'll have to re enter it. Um, Anyways, yeah, you click on these little fountain pens on the side to change the comment. Um, that's just one example. Um, I don't have a forum thread yet here, so, but if I did, I could paste it in here, and then when I preview it, it'll be, let's just say http colon slash slash um, nothing.com. I don't know what's really there, but yeah, I, I don't know if there's anything there at all. Anyways, if I click Preview this grid, it, it won't do any saving if I click Preview. And I don't want to save this because this is the default that I'm dealing with. Um, then right there, the tooltip says your successful exorcism hits reduce the target's movement speed by 50% for 12 seconds. Like exorcism, maybe? You get the idea. And it, here's the link right there, nothing.com. And if I want to show this to somebody else, I copy this. Um, of course, if you haven't actually saved it yet and you're previewing it, then there won't be a grid ID, so there won't really be a link for this to go to. And if you copy this and paste it up here and press enter, it'll jump to something else. Now, now it just blew away the changes that I made. That's okay. Actually, it didn't blow away the changes that I made. But, uh, yeah, I digress. Um, anyways, it will jump to viewgrid.jsp. It's okay that it does. It'll still understand the grid ID and it'll take you where you want to go. Anyways, from there you can go back and browse um, the default rogue talent grid here. As you can see, I didn't actually set any comments there. Um, pretty much any time you like, you can start creating a new talent grid and that will create this. It's a blank slate. And uh, up here at the top, you decide which class it wa you want it to be for. And no class selected is actually one of those options. If it's not going to be for a class that you care about, then, um, or it's not going to be a class, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. If it's not going to be for a class that actually exists in the game, then no t class selected is probably the best way to go. Um, I'll just create one for kicks. Possible monk talent grid. Let's see. I uh, want to have a good jab icon, so I'll go under the warrior icons. I, I tried to make the icon selection a little bit more intuitive than it was on wartools.com. Wartools just used the system that Blizzard had, which was um, just a bunch of names with underscores between them. Let's see. What's a good jab one? I thought there was one called Blood Friend. Here it is. I'll just call this Improved Jab. Your jab dazes the target for four seconds. That's one. Um, let's just call this a crowd control tier. Um, how about one called Dizzying Touch? I think that there was an old Paladin one. I think it was called Stoicism. It had this finger. I think priests used it as well for a kind of vampiric touch or vampiric embrace. Here it is. Okay, let's call this Dizzying Touch. Which is a nerve point on the target's neck it now and 
let's see what else would be a good one uh, let's give it some holy ma no not holy magic monks will probably have some holy magic at least I hope they do holy is a very underused school but um, actually you know what I should do instead I should use a brewmaster item actually when you look at the brewmaster from Warcraft 3 the, the brewmaster was one of the mercenary classes which you could pick here's a good one um, one of the things that the brewmaster could do was cast drunken haze on uh, I'm, I'm spelling like I'm drunk but uh, they could cast drunken haze on an area of enemies it would soak them in alcohol make them miss let's see soaks uh, target and nearby enemies in alcohol let's see reducing their movement speed by 50 percent for 10 seconds and increasing their chance to miss play swings and casts by I don't know let's just say 25 percent this was one of the abilities or something like it was one of the abilities that monks could use and um, you cast it on an area of enemies and they miss they move much slower it was like an AOE cripple and after that they could use breath of fire on the guys who were uh, soaked in alcohol and it would deal damage over time by igniting the alcohol it was a pretty interesting system and to be honest I feel like brewmasters would do better if instead of um, instead of being tanks they were some type of ranged caster unit <laughs>